NBA Living. Sometimes I would let them stay at home by themselves, which did not pan out really well one time. She left DeAndre to take care of us, and DeAndre fell asleep, and it was me, Avery, and Corey in the hallway. We just started playing with matches. I think it was alcohol or some type of spray. When we lit the fire, the fire got bigger. So we just started lighting matches, and you just see everything was just on fire. So we just getting clothes and water, throwing out the fire. And it was like, oh, this is, this is fun, so let's keep on doing it. And so we got tired, the matches ran out, and then mom came back from work. I came home and I saw little struck matches. So I asked what happened. No one gave a clear story of what happened. As soon as you walk in, you can see nothing but smoke. So she's like, who's up in here lighting matches? And I see a mound of clothes that have been lit on fire. Everybody, no, nobody, we wouldn't light matches, but you can tell it was just nothing but smoke in the air. So she was like, if nobody tell me then, oh, y'all gonna get a whoop. So until everyone told me what happened, I said, you're all gonna get it. Nobody said nothing, so everybody ended up getting a whoop. I didn't choose to leave them at home anymore because that incident was, that was mind blowing for me. Nobody wants to, <laughs> nobody <laughs> wants to own up to it. I don't think to this day they have fessed up as to who did what, but when you don't, all four will pay. The whoopings were given out with like candy at the doctor's office, like scary. <laughs> she, can, she, can, she can be scary. She was very intimidating coming up. She does have a mean side of her and, and that's a side you do not want to touch at all. There's a difference when my mom was like, you know, DeAndre, but then when she's like, DeAndre? Like, then it's like, oh, you know, or Corey, or Corey? That, you know, like, man, like, you start thinking like, okay, I woke up this morning, I brushed my teeth, I didn't break anything, what did I do at school? You start to think about all the bad stuff that you did, and, and she was like, DeAndre, Corey, Brett, Avery, get in here. She's a good mother to them. Uh, hmm, a little firm sometimes. I'll say, oh, Kim, go on and do such and such a thing. And she, no, mama, no, no. I don't sugarcoat with them. I just think with young African-American boys, you can't sugarcoat. They just don't care about you once you leave your house. And once you leave home, people in the street, they don't care anything about you. So I have to be firm and hard on them at home so that they'll understand what life is, is going to bring them. I never just understood how my father can leave my mother, my beautiful mother with four kids on our own to raise. We dealt with it how we dealt with it. You know, I feel like that made us closer to one another because, you know, we didn't have, we didn't have our, our father there with us. So it was like, we kind of leaned on each other. There was just times like, you know, when we were younger, it, it was tough because, um, you know, there'd be times where he, he would tell us, oh, okay, I'm gonna come pick you guys up and um, you guys are gonna stay the weekend at my place, you know? So uh, we would pack our bags up and then uh, our boys would be like, hey, y'all, come on, let's go play, let's go outside, let's go. And we're like, no, nah, you know, we can't play with y'all. You know, our dad's coming to pick us up, we're gonna go hang with him. Uh, and then like, you know, he wouldn't show up. It was bad some days because my dad would be like, all right, I'm gonna come pick you up. She'd be like, mom, is our dad coming? She'd be like, yeah. The next weekend, you know, it'll you know, be the same thing. We'd pack our bags up and uh, we'd be waiting and you hear our car door shut. He'd be like, oh, that's him. We'd run to the door and uh, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be him, you know, and then like 10.30, 11 o'clock rolls around and you could just, I'd see my mom and she'd just kind of be like, you know, uh, you know, you guys go to bed and then, you know, it would just, it would, it would, it would be a reoccurring thing. And then like it came out uh, to a point to where like, I, you know, me being the oldest, I just kind of stopped packing my bag. Um, <clears throat> yeah, like I would just stop packing my bag because, um, 
I would see my brothers, you know, just like, uh, I would, uh, I would see my brothers, they would be like, you know, why did, why is he coming to pick us up? Why isn't he coming? And I'm just like, don't worry about it, you know, we'll, we'll stay here and we'll do something fun, you know? And uh, that's what we would do. We would just stay at the house and then just figure, just figure it out. But uh, I just didn't, it made me feel bad uh, seeing them be upset and sad about it. It's just like a touchy situation how you just grow up without a father. Um, and as the years go on, it's like, all right, well, that's not my dad or that's not my father. My father is my mom. It was just tough being raised without a father. Right now, our relationship is not what it should be. And I can respect how they feel because uh, I wasn't there at that time. But I know it hurt them, and it's probably, they're probably still feeling that to the day. But hopefully, you know, through, time, through time, things get better. As I've gotten older, I'm trying, and I'm sure, you know, he's, he's also trying to mend the relationship with us and make it better because, you know, things happen to people, and, you know, you don't get that time back. So uh, it, was, it was tough. I will say it was tough coming up, but it made me the person I am today, and uh, it makes me want to be an even better person. And we've seen Irving take a few less shots so far this game, even though he's been incredibly efficient to begin the year. Jordan, great hands. Prince got pushed. Brown trying to navigate traffic, and Jordan would have none of it. The little on little jump ball. You do love this. I you love bring this. this up every time we see it. Is it 6 6 little to you? Yes. Jordan gets it ahead, and Prince throws it down. Nine points, three assists in 10 minutes. Green lost it. Nets pushing. Temple, long stride to the rim for the scoop in Salt Lake City. Every replay, everybody gets involved. Jordan, catch and slam. Dinwiddie with a special delivery. Jordan bounces. Irving drives in. Big shot, no. Tip in, yes. DeAndre Jordan off the offensive rebound. And it's White who comes away with it for Chicago. White gets denied by Jordan, tracking it the whole way. Come up on a minute to go. First quarter, the roll. Jordan slams it down. A discard, a monk. Using that Biombo screen and threw it right to Pinson. Excellent job by Theo Pinson sliding down to help. Harris gives it up. Jordan lost it and recovers with a two-handed flush. Uh, shot, shot attempts on both teams. DeAndre Jordan out of that basket for Nick and Terry Rozier had a shot at it. Woody, Pinson, Musa, Prince, and Jordan five on the floor. Lob it up. Oh! was special out of the ball something that Kenny has been on him about but he just wants to go out there and compete I asked him did a coach talk to you did a, has a player been in your ear as he gets the layup to go there off the nice feet early gives up the second most in the league but this is an area where they're taking advantage of the Nets and getting it on the inside Prince loops it to Jordan for the uncontested the slam injuries they're dealing with as Kuroots hops it over to Jordan Jordan given a lot of space says all right I'll barrel in and float it home plus the foul Woody, who's back in with Joe Harris. Prince had to wait because he's replacing Kuru. Up high, Jordan slams! A stopping stuffer! And a chance for three. On the heel, Dinwiddie lob it. Jordan, reverse jam! Major rack attack on the alley-oop. Test from DeAndre. Here comes Spencer Dinwiddie back in, finding Jordan! for the deep lob and reverse finish. The game in Milwaukee where he had 15 points but was not efficient from the field. Five and 21 to 63. They lost TLC. Good ball and sets up. Corner three from Temple. Don't get the bounce, but high tap up and in by DeAndre Jordan. Levert against McCaw. That's the second different shot the game caught. Levert. Finds oh! Jordan and one for DeAndre Jordan. Went out on Dinwood. No! 
wild shot. Jordan the rebound. And one for DeAndre Jordan. Some help from Dinwiddie who knocks it away. Good play by Dinwiddie as he doubled up. Dinwiddie for Jordan on the lob. What a play. And getting their offense settled down, and we're in for a really fun next six and a half minutes. Dinwiddie for Jordan. Ooh. It counts in the foul. Levert got a little bump inside Jordan reverse jam. 89-88 Brooklyn. Fade away by the second year swingman from Oregon. And you ask anyone from the Wizards and they feel like he's getting a whole lot more comfortable. Oh, big finish. DeAndre Jordan skies for the jam. Our great producer Frank DeGrace gave you a little something extra to continue bringing up Maryland. He didn't hear it. Jordan on the slam. Off the alley-oop feed. Brooks needs to be a little bit more aggressive here in this first quarter. Up top, Jordan guides it through. With just his second career three-pointer. Oh! Behind the back dunks the alley-oop for Jordan, and he'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. For a, you, it, obviously, he's proven that he's sure. going to be your starter in the future. Lob it up. Reverse jam. It's Jordan from Dinwiddie. Perfect chemistry. NBA Living. Join the team.